everyone. Good morning from Brazil. And my name is Daniel Moura. I, I am the chairperson of this section titled as Economic Complexity, Environmental Sustainability and Green Transition. All the researchers here will present their, their respective research uh, related to this issue. And each presentation will have about uh, 15 minutes of duration, right? And I will warn uh, each uh, speaker when there are five minutes uh, to, to the, the ending, right? And later uh, the audience may send questions through the chat box on the YouTube channel. And le uh, lastly, I would like to congrats all the researchers here for the, the paper sent. And let's begin your session, right? So the, the, the first researcher is uh, Paulo Gonzaga Mibieli de Carvalho from the Federal University, Fluminense Federal Univ University in Rio de Janeiro. And his paper is titled The Debate on Green Transition in Brazil. So thank you, Paulo, for your presence here. And the audience is yours. Good morning, everybody. So we'll talk today about the debate of green transition in Brazil. I'm from Findi, Ufi. Opa. Oh, Daniel, como é, que eu, como é que eu mudo aqui de slide? Ah, entendi. Agora vi. Agora vi a setinha. Okay. Oh, okay, introduction. The issue of transition to low carbon economy is in evidence in developed country, but its discussion still incipient in Brazil. Our objective in this article is to assess this debate in the country, analyzing tests that stand out both inside and outside the academic environment. The academic tests can be divided in the following categories. Conceptos, uh, Guarini and Oreiro, both are in this workshop, no? already uh, make a, a speech today. No? Uh, Granko uh, is from uh, Cepal, ELAC. They have uh, uh, very in common these two uh, papers. Uh, public policy ta uh, papers, Young and all, and Marcus. And uh, Young is a very important uh, uh, paper. It's very important because it's the only paper here who put numbers. Uh, the spend will be in what exactly? What amount? Where the money come, money come from? This young uh, uh, give the answers. Uh, and and it's paper is important too uh, because it was uh, ordered by Molon from the Brazilian Socialist Party. Uh, so it has a, a political importance and the Socialist Party is with the Workers' Party in the, the election. The vice president of Lula uh, will be Alckmin from the Socialist Party. Okay. Uh, and this document is now a document not, not only of, of Molon, who is a re representative in the Congress, but is a document uh, of the party. Uh, and there is public sector uh, uh, policies, uh, specific policies. And we talk about the financial sector with a very interesting paper by Groco and uh, Feo. Feo, Fernando Feo, is from Findi uh, uh, Ufi. It's my colleague there. Uh, outside the, the academic field, we will uh, we'll show the position of the Worker Party, position of FIESP. FIESP is the Federation of Industry in the state of Sao Paulo. The state of Sao Paulo. Uh, for who, who is not from Brazil, uh, São Paulo is the economic heart of Brazil. Né? And uh, in some ways, is the uh, heart of uh, the politics too. Uh, because Lula is from São Paulo, uh, Fernando Henrique Cardoso is from São Paulo, and so on. Uh, we, and uh, we'll show the position of Cuti, the most important uh, uh, worker central. Uh, Guarini and Oreiro. 
it's a very interesting paper because it, it, it's deal with the integration with new disabilities with ecological view and presents two uh, interesting concepts too, ecological structure change and eco development class coalition. Yeah? Uh, ecological structure, structure change means to change the composition of output and employment from brown to green sectors compared to the standard uh, structure change. Ecological structure change is more complex by concerning more variety of dimension and more difficult to implement. We'll talk a lot about this uh, later. Uh, it's necessary a national eco-development strategy is fundamental for promote green sector and to enable them to compete international level to export led industrialization. Uh, the transition needs uh, for a sound and effective international cooperation and equal global government that is very difficult to attain. Uh, but it's necessary. I agree with, uh, with Oreiro. To achieve uh, the goals of both uh, neutralize Dutch disease and promote uh, the transition, it will be necessary to combine tax over export commodities with tax green subside for investment in green industries in order to clean the productive structure of the economy. Uh, Grenco from Sepau Elac, uh, she proposed an uh, environmental big push. Yeah. Policies to promote investment that would start a virtual cycle of a virtual cycle of development that would generate, among other results, the reduction of greenhouse gas emission. Uh, a package of fiscal and financial incentive for investments in low uh, carbon technology includes a carbon tax. Uh, I will uh, not uh, uh, detail the proposition now, but in general terms, is uh, is a package of investments. And Young, uh, Green New Deal is, the, is the, the paper. Unfortunately, we have, uh, until now, at least as I know, only uh, a summary of the research. No? But it's a summary uh, very interesting. Uh, it's a plan to reactivate the economy through investment in low carbon sectors and activities. So we have much in common with the other papers. Building a resilient infrastructure. This is new uh, because it's uh, only, or perhaps the only test with, uh, with deal with uh, adaptation. This is adaptation to, to global warming. Uh, expanding public service. Uh, to the population, this is, uh, deal with the social issues. That is very important too. Normally, the the paper about green transition talks only about the uh, energy transition and the question of low carbon sectors. This is more comprehensive uh, studies. Three public uh, policy action distributed with five thematic acts. This is the procedure. The plan will cost. Uh, one, one, five or two billion per year. Our actions have goals and deadlines, except for novelty access and two, uh, 12 sources of financing. So, uh, uh, Yang give, give us the numbers. This is very important. The main sources of fund will be increased uh, tax collection because the economy will grow. Higher taxation on fossil fuels, on profits, on dividends, introduction of a tax on large fortunes and carbon emitted. Uh, I agree with, with all the proposition, but uh, some of them are very uh, politically sensitive, like taxation on fossil fuels. No? You, you say the experience, uh, you know, the experience of France and the yellow jackets. Uh, we have some similarities in Brazil with the camioneiros. No? There, there is a, a huge discussion in Brazil now how to lower the, the taxation fossil fuels 
uh, because the price is very high. Yeah? So is, this is a, 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 perhaps the most sensitive uh, issue of this, of these propositions. Uh, Marcus, uh, review the main international proposals of Renew Deal, but uh, at the end of the test, discuss the Brazilian situation. Uh, the paper of Marx is, is not uh, specifically of Brazil and proposition for Brazil. It's mainly uh, analysis of international proposals. But in the end, he talks about Brazil. Uh, to make a, a green a new deal viable, it would be necessary to remove public budget restrictions, to take action to mitigate income and property inequalities in the country, to reduce the restrictions of the productive and technological social of the country that limit green transition. He proposed uh, 12 projects spread of our access, but uh, he made very generic statements. It's very diff different from the paper of Young, and the proposal is different. This is Marcus is more a uh, 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 kind of survey. No? Uh, it's interesting to say that uh, these conditions that he, he puts uh, will probably we, we will achieve them in the next year if we remove Bolsonaro and if Lula is the president. No? Croco and Feu. Uh, uh, green transition must face three essential issues. Create a market for the financial system to redirect its investment or cleaner projects, uh, face the process, process of loss from carbon-intense sectors, ensure the transition does not affect the stability of the financial system. This paper is very interesting because uh, it deals with uh, two issues that the other papers uh, don't talk, don't mention. First is the loss of the carbon-intensive sector. Uh, we, we five always minutes. five minutes. We always talk about uh, the clean sector, but we have to think about the the the, the carbon testing sector. What we will do with them? We'll just close and, and lose the jobs, no? and this could be a, a problem for the stability of financial system, a problem with the uh, the close of the sector, and a problem with uh, uh, environmental disasters too. Why this is why adaptation is important. No? Proposal, an industrial innovation policy for green and productive conversion, green quantitative transition, and stationary fiscal policy. The paper of FIESP is very frustrating, in my opinion. It's, uh, it's used a huge model, many variables, uh, a lot of, uh, of uh, options, but its study is not conclusive. Always says this alternative has risk and opportunities. This other alternative had other risks, other opportunity. In conclusion, there's no conclusion. No? Uh, this is maybe because it's a document from five years ago, and in part because uh, I think the industry don't have, don't know how to deal exactly with this, this problem. Uh, work as Patrick. Uh, we use here the plan for reconstruction and transformation of Brazil from two years ago. Uh, it's very comprehensive. It talks about the need of ecologic transition to a low carbon economy and mentioned the big push of CEPAL and Grasco. Uh, the problem is the contradiction of defending our sector at the same time. Uh, uh, for example, in the document from the, for the party, for the discussing the party, uh, very recent, for last week, uh, the guidelines for Brazilian reconstruction program, the, uh, they say the Pressal layer we once again be a passport for the future. So uh, uh, Lula and PT wants to develop the Pressal layer. They want the resource for the future. Uh, Kutch, uh, I, I was uh, surprised with, with the paper I, and, and I like it very, very much because uh, they talk about just transition 
accept the structural uh, transition in the economy is necessary, and this will entail job loss for a, a central. It's not easy two to, minutes. Not easy to accept this. Uh, but they demand popular participation and instruments. Uh, they, they don't like market instruments, they want participation and want a, a, a kind of compensation uh, in jobs in other sectors and, and social help and things like that. Uh, conclusion. The debate in Brazil in green transition is still in general lines of the policy, uh, usually without number and values. Important areas are left out in some studies, as the flourishing, livestock, adaptation, social cost, and financial. The use of economic instrument is controversial. The main support is from FIESP. The use of economic instruments are not mentioned in uh, PT proposal and doesn't have the support of CUT, of the workers. In comparative terms, the biggest problem in green transition in Brazil is not the flourishing of the Ma uh, Amazon. It could be strange for, for some people from outside Brazil, but the greatest problem to face the flourishing of Amazon is Bolsonaro. If we get rid of Bolsonaro, we can deal with this, this problem. We have a lot of, of study, experience. Uh, we can deal with this. But it, we have uh, very difficult to deal with difficulties to deal with how to do with the oil production chain in its job and adaptation problem. We have uh, much less debate and research about these two issues. And concluding, there will likely be no significant uh, ecological structure change using the term of Oreiro in the next 10 years in Brazil. Uh, this is my expectation. And uses the, in using the, the, the question of the Paula today, climate change will not be at the heart of development strategy or even a significant window of opportunity. So I disagree. Unfortunately, I disagree with Ocampo but I, because I'm very pessimistic. But why? Uh, because the weight of oil production chain in Brazil, uh, you say you, you said I, I, I show you what uh, PT uh, wants of the Brazil, a lack of eco development class coalition using again the concept of Herero, no? uh, there's a very few studies and research of the topic and there's a relative uh, decoupling between the goals of the Paris Agreement and achieving green transition in Brazil. This is a, a very specific uh, uh, point in Brazil that uh, there's uh, the first from all the countries because the greenhouse emissions in Brazil is mainly from deforestation. We don't need uh, strictly a green transition to deal with this problem, uh, to lower the deforestation. Uh, uh, th this can be done, not exactly easily, but can be done in, in a few years, no? without Bolsonaro, of course. Uh, and we gain time with this. And, and, and probably uh, Lula and the others uh, uh, or the presidents uh, outside Bolsonaro, of course, uh, will will uh, stay with this, with uh, with Amazon, dealing with Amazon and saying that the green transition, the actual transition, will be in the next moment or a lower pace, and 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 the international level, we see that uh, the petrol will be the king for the last for the next uh, 10 or 20 years. Uh, and Brazil has the press out. So uh, I'm pessimistic. And I, I think there will be very small changes in the ecological structure. So that is, thanks for listening to me. Uh, thanks for your presentation, Paulo. And now if we, our audience, uh, once you may send questions on the chat box and uh, I'm gonna read here. Mm -hmm. Anyone? 
So, okay. Uh, thanks again, Paulo. It was mm -hmm. a, a good presentation, pretty interesting. And uh, after, if anyone wants to, to get con contact with you, there is your email, okay? And mm -hmm. now I want to call to hear uh, Edson Rodrigo Toledo Neto, a researcher uh, from the, the University of Brasilia, and he's gonna present uh, his paper titled Environmental National Accounts, New Horizons and Old Lands and the Same Problems. Please, Edson, thank you, and the audience is yours. Thanks, Daniel. Uh, that's... Okay, let's go, let's go. Uh, I am Edson Rodrigo Toledo Neto. I'm from a uh, uh, PhD program by, in the University of Brasilia. Uh, I will present, present, present uh, the work of environmental national accounts, uh, new horizons in world lands and the same problems. Uh, I have a, a, great, a, a great pleasure to, to present here. Uh, let's go. The, the second slide, please. Uh, it's me? Oh, okay. Great. Uh, the motivation for this, uh, for this work is uh, the crisis of climate change issues and the POTS COVID-19 world uh, makes the deba debate on the implementation of green accounts even more necessary. Uh, not only from the point of the view of economic think, but also in terms of possible ways to achieve, uh, achieve a, a carbon neutral world. Uh, many companies and governments have been declaring targets with goals and on a horizon that varies between uh, 2030 and 2016. Uh, it's a great challenge ahead with lots of adequate theoretic, uh, theoretical tools to ad address this issue. Uh, the, uh, the framework even exists, but there is no consensus in the macroeconomics mainstream that allows expanding uh, the horizons of data integration and processing. Uh, the objectives of this uh, essay is uh, reviews the approach and gaps for new macroeconomic theory or environmental macroeconomics. Uh, this, uh, this discuss the theoretical origins of mainstream macroeconomics and national accounts as well their uses in representing economic growth and development. Others, the approach in the macroeconomic theory that support the matrix structure of environmental economic accounts uh, and seeks to highlight the new frontiers of research around the uh, on environmental macroeconomic theory. The concept uh, of Hatch uh, 2005, uh, which define, uh, defines environmental account, accounting as an information system that demonstrates a link between economic and environmental data in the national, uh, at the national level, including accounts and the calculated national incomes and related satellite accounts. Uh, uh, this calculation, the calculation of national accounts indicators uh, by almost all, all countries in associated with development of system of national accounts if, uh, after uh, World War II. A need for industrial, uh, industrialized countries to follow changes in the levels of employment and income 
of the economies and on the other hand for the growing concern with the developing of poor countries. Uh, the base methodology of uh, uh, national accounts relies rapidly on the Keynesian microeconomic model, but also includes elements of microeconomic theories of general equilibrium and social wef welfare. Uh, Schumpeter considered that the first conception of natural economic equilibrium resides, resides in the uh, Quisney seminal work, uh, the ta Tableau Economic. Uh, these are the, the assumptions of proportionality and homogeneity. Uh, these two uh, ass assumptions of the matrix of input out output activities, it's their inputs. Uh, uh, its activities the, then forms on accounts represented by a line in the matrix structure. Uh, in these lines, we, we have a fixed proportions to produce a single and distinct product. It's uh, uh, the fixed proportion pro property. Uh, the, pro uh, the product groups uh, preserve a certain homogeneity in relation to the uh, to origin and destination. Uh, relativity, uh, the, 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 the same products in the final of industry. The, this is the uh, one kind of commodity. Uh, in the state of the art in modeling mitigation policies for climate change uh, is divided into bottom up models calculate the effects of technological replacements and microeconomic terms uh, in the microeconomic uh, microeconomic uh, micro terms for specific sectors such as energy based on their supply and demand aspects it's it's a engineer uh, overview or engineer model uh, the top down models is drawn by uh, from on, on a macroeconomic aggregates uh, intended to answer questions of economic impacts and competitiveness employment levels related to different sectors of an economy therefore distributional effects into different uh, mitigation policies this is a uh, two approach more uh, uh, more frequently view in the in, in these models uh, in a EO matrix in an input output matrix there is an account representing the product sectors in the columns and the rows by add, adding other accounts we have another economic agent uh, we have the social account matrix uh, and this this uh, this, uh, this framework is very important to to calculate and simulate the main mitigation policies. Uh, the EO matrix is simple and efficient framework, uh, is, uh, which embodies two principles, the circular flow, flow of rents and the consumer, and input-output matrix formulated by Leon TF. Uh, do you know? The MIP follows the proportionality and the homogeneity principles that, that, that you, uh, uh, who he, he saw uh, more early, uh, and the same mathematical proposition for constructive statements of EO matrix. Um, this is a, a graphic representation of the, uh, we have the production sector, consumption sector, the, the flow of capital, and the relationship with the rest of the world, the government accounts, the families accounting and they are accounting for the value added of economy. Uh, this is the uh, simple way to, to build the, the input output matrix. Uh, we can see the cell of income se uh, or income sectors, the, uh, it, it's the, the sectors that uh, sell by products, by the buying and spend sectors, uh, and you, you have this this view in in, in the final. Uh, in a common div uh, divided into n activities, uh, Leon TF input output matrix starts from the concept that relationship between inputs 
in each activities in the total of production uh, that activities are constant. The, this forms the technical coefficient of production defined as uh, a matrix. And you, you have this formulation. It's uh, uh, the simple uh, the simple formulation. This is uh, the final product sh is, uh, is equal to a plus, uh, multiplied to x plus final demand. And yeah, in the uh, in the last we have the uh, Leontief inverse matrix. Um, in the, uh, this is the the basic formulation for the uh, inputs outputs models. The, the criticism work of Greenwich makes this this emphasis made by Das Gupta, Van der Berg, Stiglitz, and Meadows in uh, regard to the deficiency of uh, growth development uh, progress, uh, GDP, uh, in assessing the, the dynamics of production and detriment of well-being uh, without reflecting the capture in social process and changes in the environment. Uh, the external costs and the natural capital. Solo highlights uh, uh, that the main problem is the omission of fix, uh, fixed capital depreciation. The problem, the problematic nature of micro uh, micro foundations of macroeconomics around what the new Keynes economics uh, convention called the new macroeconomic consensus has been criticized. Not only for the approach, but also the, the uh, recurrent model used among its uh, adherents, the DSGE model. Fre uh, frequently motivated by the Great Recession uh, in 2008 and 2009, which has forced the reexamination of political, theoretical propositions of this current of thinkers as Blanchard. Uh, concern uh, uh, and with more uh, mainstream in the macroeconomics uh, theory. The new macroeconomic concept is a framework uh, in which there is no rule to be played by the money market and the financial system, uh, with only a single a single interest rate. Uh, the new Keynes considered two key principles. Price stability is the central objective of monetary policy and inflation is a phenomenon a phenomenon of aggregate demand demand so it can only be controlled by monetary policy with interest rates controlled by central banks uh, the five, uh, five minutes uh, it's the by Keynes and uh, we have some uh, the principal problem is representing a single agent in the uh, macroeconomic models uh, in, in this framework, uh, I I have to 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 go ahead for the to respect the the time. Uh, I think that we have a, a, a great concern with the vision of its commodities refers to aspects of absolute scarcity of Maltz and Ricardo and relative scarcity of neoclassicals which influenced Walras and Pigou in pro, uh, proposing the general equilibrium of the economy. Uh, the conception of neoclassical economics, the term of capital is a factor of production. Uh, the social national accounting, uh, those, uh, 2008, it's a, a guide uh, for so, uh, systems of uh, 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 national accounting. Uh, is formulated by United Nations and distinguishes uh, uh, this, this, this system, distinguishing no financial and financial uh, assets. Uh, 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 no productive items include items such as natural research, license and donations, natural capital, uh, uh, and you have uh, in the other kind of uh, in, in the other view, you have a theoretical approach of natural resources. We have a, a Ricardo model. It's a, a, a provide explanations for how diminu uh, 
diminish returns to land could again jeopardize the wealth and of nations and survive the, popula the populations. Uh, this thought paved the way for the definition of roots of theory of exhaustible research uh, defined uh, developed by Hotley. Uh, the proposition that there is a natural limit uh, to av uh, available research determine a limit to sustainable growth of populations in an old debate. Uh, it, it is an old debate. debate. Uh, in the period of experience by Malthus, the scarce natural resources was land. In, in 1917, the concerns along these limits were raised by, uh, with regard to supply of petroleum uh, or oil, or more generally, other sources of energy and the other materials required for, required for production. Those who, uh, uh, those who predicted that collapse of research for the, uh, the 19th century, century were clearly wrong in their prediction. Stiglitz, uh, it, it, it's a, 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 very, a very interesting uh, statement. Uh, but this, this, these authors classify approach to misery sustainable development from two pers perspectives, restricted about uh, approach to capital and the framework uh, approach to capital or broad capital represented by broader view of the economy. Uh, in this case, with naturally two, include two. Uh, the approach is the economic main thing is concerned with measuring whether national affairs is increasing. The measure, this, all asset types are considered human, natural, and economic to uh, monetize the uh, added value. It's very important. These two attributes to these models that follow this approach and the national focus ignore cross-border issues and uh, as well as adherence of the assumption of sub substitutability between natural and manufacturing capital. It works well for uh, non-renewable natural resources, but not for renewable resources. Uh, this division rec recognizes the ex existence of two forms of economic modeling that consider environment issues, uh, advocated by Meadows and Tobin, uh, Norda, uh, by Norders and Tobin too. <clears throat> and you have now a new frontier. The new frontier is represented by social, economic, and environment accounting. Uh, designed in 2012 uh, to be coherent and complementary to other standards, international recommendations, and, classic, and classifications, such as system, system of national accounts, uh, balance payments, and all other um, uh, guides for to, uh, to, to, uh, uh, to define the input output matrix in national uh, system account, uh, accounting. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> this, this document is uh, complemented by other documents. It's, uh, we have uh, now a great uh, concern with uh, experimental ecosystem in accounting. Uh, it's uh, one kind of uh, uh, system that, uh, that serves to to put in the account uh, the ecosystem uh, service. Uh, we have uh, uh, other extensions, uh, represent various methods, uh, represents various methods of monitoring and analyzing data, describing how uh, this, this framework can be used to support policy analysis. And we have the this, 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 the same stage of uh, uh, development, the international recommendations for water statistics. Uh, land plays a critical role in the economic and environment accounting as an asset. It occupies a, a unique position at the intersection of the system of national accounts, the system of environmental economic accounts central framework, and the system of experimental ecosystem in accounts. 
making uh, land a natural starting point for developing natural capital uh, capital accounts more generally. Uh, the, the other conclusion is uh, traditional system uh, of national uh, national accounts in modern can incorporate natural resource, uh, considering the environment as an input, without adding no commercial and no tradable natural capital. Through hybrids, input-output matrix, uh, as uh, defined by Miller and Blair, and for energy, uh, uh, for, uh, by Miller and Blair too, uh, and for pollutants, uh, we have uh, we can have an addition to so social aspects through social account matrix, uh, by definition by Miller and Blair 2009, and uh, it's the the more. Uh, the thing more interesting in this technique, uh, it's it's so simple. It's uh, opera, uh, in, in its operational aspects and mathematical solution is not used. Uh, excuse, uh, Edson, are you are you finishing soon? Yeah, yeah. More two slides, please. Uh, uh, okay, please uh, hurry. Up. Okay, thanks. Um, Let's go, uh, not to mention to stock definition or exercise, uh, comprise not only stocks with commercial and no commercial value. It's uh, the, some, some things that the, the social, economic, and environmental account uh, uh, bring to us, but uh, this, this system lacks a teror uh, theoretical framework to support it and motivate its adoption. Uh, there is a no ecological macroeconomics that promotes this uh, this analytical basis, and th there is a, a great gap to to that we have to to, to concern and regard uh, to to interest to 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 research and and, and uh, uh, take, uh, take attention and pay attention. The new the new frontier of macroeconomic thinking undoubtedly comes from the meeting between Keynesian principles, a mathematical treatment of input-output, and uh, that is capable to integrate all the productive factors in addition to capital and uh, work starting to uh, with natural, uh, natural, and, uh, cap natural capital. From the implementation of the system, some conclusion emerged regarding the topics covered by uh, environmental economics, accounting programs. Uh, in developed countries, the activities and the planning can be understood from the perspective of natural research and management requirements uh, and the specific security issues. Uh, in, in developed countries, the issues that uh, have been gained preeminence are expanded flow and research, uh, economic instruments and resource efficiency and environmental degradation related production and consumption. It's, this is the, uh, I think that uh, the, great, uh, the great result or the great uh, field of work and research, it's uh, uh, the new social and no more new, but uh, the social environment, uh, economic and environment accounting. Uh, Thank you. This is the final. Okay. Thank you, Edson. Uh, it was pretty interesting. And now, if anybody wants to make a question, I can I can print here. Anyone? So, okay, Edson. Thank you again. It was pretty interesting. And I hope you can achieve more, more goals with your research. So now uh, I'm going to present uh, an abstract. Uh, call, but first, sorry, <laughs> uh, as I said, my name is Daniel Moura. I am a researcher for, 
from the Structuralist Development Microeconomics Research Group. And we are carrying out uh, research right now. And these are the, the, first, the first issues of this uh, research. The, the title of my presentation is Economic Complexity, Environmental Sustainability and Green Transition. And uh, uh, these are the topics uh, I will talk to you today. Uh, first, the, the research contest uh, is about Goiás. <clears throat> Goiás is a, a state in the central west region of Brazil, and it has the 11th population and the 90th largest economy in Brazil. Uh, because the its uh, suitable natural conditions, weather, water, and lands, and a history of investments in technology and planting, the agriculture sector in Goiás has been become the most important in the state and today because of that, right? Uh, the Goiás economic composition is based mainly on agriculture, cattle, and mining. Also, it is possible to notice that the industry sector has been decreasing uh, its share in the economy over the years. Uh, and also the, the, the services sector is uh, expanding its share. And consequently, the composition of Goiás economy will have effects on the sustainability as we are seeing here on, on this graph about greenhouse gas emissions evolution uh, from the year of 2000 to 2016. And the, the red line is about the total emissions. Uh, you, you can see in the, 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 the bars, each bar, uh, the green bar is related to the change lane use, uh, mainly uh, deforestations and expand agriculture, other things things related to. Uh, the yellow one is about the, the agriculture and um, energy is the orange. And it's a little hard to see, but uh, the brown bar is uh, about uh, residues and the, the and the blue one about industry so uh, when Goiás achieved uh, uh, oops sorry I, I was talking <laughs> and now the red line is about the total emissions sorry uh, the, the the bars the, the the green part is related to lane use change and the brown about uh, about uh, results uh, and uh, the the orange one about energy, the blue about industry. So you can see that the the agriculture sector is uh, the one of the the major uh, source of emission and. Uh, just uh, uh, another interesting point is when the the rate of uh, change uh, of land cover is higher, uh, the total emissions was higher too. So you you can see clearly uh, a relation between land use changes and emissions in Goiás. It's important to notice because uh, agriculture has diminishing returns, you know, so that if you if you need to expand your GDP based on agriculture, it implies uh, in, in a, a higher rate of conversion of land use and consequently uh, higher emissions. So. Uh, the economic composition together with the, the cleanliness level of technologies adopt in the production process is responsible for what kinds of natural resource will be consumed and uh, 
what pollution will be generated in, into the environment, determining the environmental degradation level. It's uh, uh, about wha what I said in relation to the, the, the GAG emission, but it could be uh, addressed to another kind of pollutions and uses of natural resources, right? So um, the transition to the sustainability is only possible through a, an ecological structural change, which is understood as the share increase of those sectors that use uh, environmental technology more efficiently or the, the green technologies in, in general. In this sense, the economic complexity improvement is an essential condition to add those technologies beside that other benefits are uh, linked to the, the first movers. But it doesn't occur uh, spontaneously so that it's necessary to establish a mix of public policy placed in a development, developmental strategy to allow the accumulated knowledge about structural change and the natural resource management. Now, uh, this this is the one minute. Sorry, the research ob objective uh, evaluating whether is the economic development of Goiás between 1990 and 2016 has been associated with a reduction of GAG emission uh, per GDP unit. We called this movement as uh, an environmental efficiency index, which is explained by other several variables. And about specific objectives is evaluating the economic complexity evolution of Goya's exports over the period mentioned to the final relation with the environmental efficiency and evaluating the vulnerability level of Goya's exports to international trade rules change caused by environmental concerns like uh, climate change and others. And this, this is important because as I said, agriculture is pretty close to environmental things because the, 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 the conversion of lands and defining uh, the last specific objective, define a set of public policies which can be developed by the state government to increase the economic complexity and environmental efficiency uh, of Goya's economy. Now, the, the theoretical framework. Uh, we are talking about it because we are based on a statement that the relation between economy scale, its size, and environmental de degradation is not fixed but sta and stable, but it varies between economies over the time. And it happens because the, you, can, you, can, you can see the, the increasing of degradation level at decreasing rates with the economy scale or the opposite, increasing rates and we could we could see uh, decreasing rates of degradation level in the process of economic growth if there are changes in the demand structure so that it will be produced goods that use fewer natural resources and generate less pollution and at the same the same time expanding the use of technologies that save natural resource. So this is the process. Uh, economic scale uh, will lead to uh, a production consumption, oh, sorry, composition, and depending on the, the cleanliness level of the technologies adopt, you know, you, you can find a, a higher or lower level of environmental degradation. And because of that, the, there needs to be an ecological transition process towards the more efficient uh, technologies. We call this as ecologically efficient uh, techno technological progress, which must be able to reduce the reject amount for each added 
value produced in an economy. And according to Guarini and Oreiro, uh, this process is a, an ecological structural, structural change. Following with the, the, the theoretical framework, this process of um, ecological structural, structural change doesn't occur sp spontaneously because of market failures. According to Hodrick uh, and Gutman, uh, there are some, some general market failures related to uh, technological progress and they list uh, positive technological externalities, which are not totally captured by investors absence of market prices for several environmental goods and services like carbon, while there are um, several subsides for production and consumption of fossil fuels. Uh, Besides that, uh, there are difficulties on the policy application which internalize the other risks caused by climate change. So in, in, in this situation, carbon, carbon is general uh, underpriced in comparison to the to its social cost, and the benefits from reduction of GHG emissions are a global public good, encouraging free riders. And uh, because of that, we need to we need to establish public policies placed on, on a, a broader strategy of development, and. Uh, an essential condition for that is uh, the economic complexity. For that, new and cleaner technologies be created, introduced on, on that economy, and uh, more more complex economies can generate these green technologies quicker and broader than less complex ones because of that and. Uh, there are several empirical evidence which indicates that the manufacturing activities uh, have a, an important implication on the research and development cost and on the econom economic complexity increasing itself. So uh, if we have a, a more complex economy, so this process will be... Um, I, how could I say easier? Okay. And economies with a higher level of complexity are able to carry out the ecological transition. So it's a, our uh, hypothesis. Uh, about the methodology. Uh, first, we are carrying out right now a literature review, which consists to gathering theoretical and empirical publications about environmental efficiency and economic complexity, structural change in green technologies and, and the relations among them, environmental requirements in trade agreements for the current main product support by Goiás, and it's important. It's a, a, an important issue on trade negotiations uh, related to climate change, as we, we can see on the, the last years, and uh, development of an econometric, econometric model using panel data for the, the period between 1990 and 2016. About the data uh, of the this model, we are get, uh, gathering data about economic complexity index, uh, GAG emissions, GDP, population size, econo economic sector share uh, in relation to industry, agriculture, services, uh, productivity indicators for each sector, land use and cover, uh, among other specific data. And here uh, on, on that board, uh, we can see the, the oops, sorry. Uh, here on that board, we can see uh, the, the set of variables and 
which are the indicators of each one and the, the source of data. So uh, about the environmental efficiency index, we are using the Goiás GDP for that period uh, and the GAG emissions in, in carbon equivalent uh, for Goiás on the, the, the same period and the data uh, is from the National Inventory of JG by Brazilian states. Economic complexity, we are developing right now uh, an economic uh, complex index based on, on the, 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 the traditional one, you know, used uh, for countries, but specific with the, the characteristics of Goiás. Uh, about deforestation, uh, we are using the, the forest cover change in Goiás and the, the, that data is from Project Map Biomas, pretty popular in, in, in Brazil, even not only for uh, between the, the academic uh, environment, but the, uh, about journalists and uh, public and policymakers, sorry. And about income, we are using the Goiás GDP and uh, projections of population. The preliminary model uh, is uh, is uh, uh, is uh, um, how could I say uh, meant by this equation, where we have a, an uh, uh, a dependent indicator, which is uh, the environmental efficiency index. Oh, sorry, again. Uh, my my equation uh, is not printed on the screen, but sorry for that. I I don't know. It's a, a technical issue, but. Uh, this, this is the, uh, uh, an econometric model uh, comprehended by the, the independent, uh, sorry, the dependent variable, variable, which is the environmental efficiency index meant by uh, GDP, sorry, emissions by GDP, and uh, complex, uh, of course, uh, the, the com economic complex index plus the deforestation rate plus uh, per capita GDP plus a, a set of other, other variable uh, which is comprehended by uh, productivity uh, indicators and uh, sector shares you know other 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 variables with relation to the, the, the emissions and expected results. It is expect, expected that the econometric model can show the kind of relations between the indicators of economic complexity, sectors productivity, and sharing the Goya's economy, cover of native vegetation among, uh, among other aspects and the sustainability expressed by the environmental efficiency index. It will be clear the ways for increasing per capita income from lower GAG emissions rates, as well as making Goiás less vulnerable to changes in international trade rules due to environmental concerns. In the end, it will also be possible to base the environmental agenda on the on a broader developmental uh, strategy for the Brazilian state, uh, popular now, known now as Green New Deal, uh, as you can notice on newspapers and, and other sources. So for this presentation, there are the, the references uh, that I used, but, but of course on the, the paper and and, and the research, there are many 
many other ones. So, uh, sorry, it was my, my timer for the presentation. Thanks for watching us here. Uh, there are my, my contact the, and the website of the, the research group and uh, our YouTube channel. Thank you again. And if uh, anyone has uh, questions, I can I can answer. Or if not, I I'd like to thank you again, the audience, the researchers, for this section. Uh, it was pretty interesting. The the other presentations, uh, the the proposal of this session, the event in general. Thanks again. And good luck with the, the, the job and researches about sustainability. Thank you again. And see you soon.